What is going on YouTube? It's Wilson back with episode three of Chernobyl. Thank you guys for the support on the first two. It's, it's actually been absolutely insane. We did not expect it, but uh, we appreciate everybody watching. If you are new and you have missed any of the reactions so far, that's episodes one and two. You can check out the playlist linked in the top right corner. And also feel free to check out our Patreon there. You can find full length reactions as well as early access. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you can watch episode four right now. But if not, it's all good. You being here on YouTube means the world to us. If you do enjoy the video and you like what you see, drop a like, hit that sub button. Stick around for all the other shows and movies we're covering and also leave a comment. Let me know your favorite part of this episode. Your comments have been amazing. A disclaimer, I'm joined once again by EJ. He has already seen this. I have not. Let's get into it. Yeah, it's, it's like almost like what's the point of having the dosimeter at that point? Yeah, like you know it's gonna be <laughs> toxic. I guess like <laughs> I, maybe the difference between like really toxic and like insane is yeah. maybe noticeable. So they're trying to get closer, but yeah, true. I don't know. So that guy's like a stress ball. <laughs> It's just like a maze with all those pipes. They're just yeah, going like you every... no sense of direction. I mean, they're supposed yeah. to be the guys that have the sense of direction, but mm -hmm. even still, man. Is it possible that the water has already killed them? <laughs> yes. It's been five minutes, sir. Then what? If it doesn't work. Three more would have to go, right? Save a million? Yeah, I guess. And at that point, are you forcing them, you know? Oh, they did it. School. I don't know what they did, but they fucking did it. I think you stopped the water. Stopped the water. Oh, even Skarsgård's trying to say thank you to them. Disaster avoided, hopefully. We'll see. Well, but Major, Major Borov told me, he said... No exceptions. Please, I've come all the way from Kievsky Oblast. I'm, I didn't know we'd be following them. Game's the game. You can see him for 30 minutes. Not a minute more. And you cannot touch him in any way. Do you understand? Yeah. Room 15. Thank you. How about, like... You're not pregnant, are you? No. That's good. How do you tell these people no? <laughs> you know? I would, I would fail. I would fold immediately. Like, it feels so bad yeah. for you. There's no hiding from you, is there? Eh? You can't touch him. Ah, it's easy. Oh, oh, God. That's tough. Yeah. Sound, too. Like, I know that sound. Of just it's not happy music. It's not anything. It's like radiation. Like, <laughs> that's all that's that's all that's coming between these two right now. Someone decided that the evacuation zone should be 30 kilometers when we know here Cesium-137 in the Gomel district. That's 200 kilometers away. It was decided. Based on what? I don't know. We have visual confirmation that the fire is nearly extinguished. There's also been a reduction in iodine-131 and cesium-137 emissions. Good. Yes? It's good. But the temperature is rising. Oh. There's a spike in zirconium-95. That's from the cladding on the fuel rods. Meaning what? Meltdown has begun. Oh, great. This professor ain't even freaking out anymore. Yeah, the meltdown came out. So, with the evacuation zone thing, that was just like they only evacuated them 30 kilometers when they know that it's still toxic 200 away, right? Yeah, like they found high levels, you know, much farther 30. away. Yeah, so like, well, why are we? That's, that's yeah, a whole yeah. Lot of distance. Oh my god. Giant big boils on him. And where does this groundwater go? The Pripyat River. Ooh. The primary water supply for approximately 50 million people, not to mention crops and livestock, would be unusable. <coughs> Shit. And in order to do that, I'm told that we will need all of the liquid nitrogen in the Soviet Union. All of it. It's taking the air. <gasps> the puppies just want friends. 
know the level. Some of them are exposed. Ionizing radiation tears the cellular structure apart. The skin blisters, turns red, then black. This is followed by a latency period. The immediate effects subside. The patient appears to be recovering. And the cellular damage begins to manifest. The bone marrow dies. The immune system fails. The organs and soft tissue begin to decompose. The arteries and veins spill open like sieves. And what about us? We've gotten a steady dose, but not as much of it. Not strong enough to kill the cells, but consistent enough to damage our DNA. In time, cancer or a plastic anemia. Either way, fatal. Ease. In a sense, it would seem we've got enough easy then. Oh, Harry. I mean, that's one way to look at it. I've seen them before. Now you know why I wanted to take a walk. You can presume the work site is bugged. Hmm. How would they do that? These two should bang. I don't know why. <laughs> Couple of scientists. Radiation, radiation bang. Couple of radiate. You know, they know what they're they're in for. The fuel is melting faster than we expected. I know. A little bit. I have a plan. Heat exchanger, I hope. Yes. Yeah, you should exchange some heat right now. <laughs> yeah. I've worked the numbers over and over, presuming the worst possible conditions in an RBMK reactor, and I always get the same answer. Possible. Yes. It's not possible. Hmm. Sabotage. Everyone who was in the control room, the Atlov. Akimov, Dr. Nov, they're all in Moscow. Hospital number six. We need to find out exactly what happened that night. Yes. Well, I want to know. Be careful. I don't know if government wants answers to be yeah. out there. <laughs> so this is how the Soviets fucked up. <laughs> so, yeah. we, you know, like... <laughs> this is how they killed. They're all about image and yeah. all that stuff. Clearly. I need all 100 men to gather their equipment and get on the trucks. They're going to Chernobyl. Fuck that. <laughs> the reactor fuel is going to sink into the ground and poison the water from Kiev to the Black Sea. All of it. Forever, they say. They want you to stop that from happening. You kind of have to go. And you guys take a shower first, though. I mean, Jesus. I want to be, be able to work like that. Not the suit. Get in on the suit. Oh, I knew it. I knew that suit was too clean. I fucking knew it. Yeah. You bastards. Hey, this guy's just doing his job. Come on. No way, though. He's like, all these are, hands on you, the, they are, in a way, that's their lives. They're like, you're sending them. Yeah, that's true. To expose a lot of He doesn't seem thrilled to be doing it. No, he doesn't. Yeah. I'll take it as like you're part of the crew now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jesus, God, it's not look good. Don't touch him, man. I know it's your I know, husband. Oh, I know. She's, I, I know it's your husband. Don't don't kiss his blistering hand. <laughs> Just tell me what you see outside. Tell me everything. I can see the red square. And the Kremlin, Spassky Tower, Mausoleum. This is depressing as fuck, dude. Good lord. Don't you I show you Moscow, didn't I? Uh? Yes. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I'm not eating that is shit. Give me something else. I'm not a nurse, Comrade Diatlov. I'm a nuclear physicist. That's Diatlov? Nothing, Comrade Nuclear. Oh, well, you ain't looking too hot. Oh, huh? my gosh. You happen to have a butter and caviar sandwich on you. He's still being a prick. <laughs> He's still being a prick to the people trying to save his life. Why is he, why is he like that? Why is the firefighter <laughs> suffering? Oh, they did shower. Nice. I wonder, like, 
how like all these soldiers probably not these oil guys like do they know that in a few years they're gonna get cancer and die yeah. like probably not I'm you know it, the way they keep They're secrets also, it's so they wouldn't probably stay i'm not good at this part <clears throat> the line have you ever spent time with miners excuse me sir <laughs> good old blue cough still looks like he's from fucking kentucky yeah and what's above the pad the core of the nuclear reactor which is melting down what, like, essentially? I never knew that's what meltdown meant. I just thought a meltdown meant like it blew up, but it actually melts down into the. Mm -hmm. How deep do you want this tunnel? Six meters? Twelve. Twelve? Why? For your protection. At uh, that depth, you'll be shielded from much of the radiation. The entrance to the tunnel won't be twelve meters below ground. I'm not twelve meters below ground now. Yeah, I was gonna say. We can start in the morning. No. We start now. I don't want my men here one more second than they need to be. Let's go. If these worked, you'd be wearing them. Yeah, guess so. Are they all like that? <laughs> They're all like that. He's not good at that. Gotta respect the hell out of that. Just yeah. let's get down to all it. Alright, yeah. I mean, you're already there. You know, yeah. nine days, nine days. It's been burning for nine days. Ah, oh, hell, man. <laughs> I'm not claustrophobic or anything, but fuck that. Yeah. We need fans. For what purpose? It's 50 degrees down there. We can't breathe without masks. We can't breathe with the masks. It's like a fucking oven. We need ventilation. Fans will put dust in the air. The dust will go in your lungs. I've been breathing dust in my lungs for 20 years. Not this dust. I'm sorry. For your own good. No fans. 50 degrees Celsius. What is that? Sorry, Europeans. We're different. 122! 122? Yes. Oh my gosh, I didn't know the conversion of that. Wow. Fuck you, hey. I want you to tell me everything that happened on the night of the accident. Is that all right? Oh, this guy. Mm -hmm. Senior engineer. How old are you? I'm 25. Jesus. I'm almost 25. <laughs> oh, the makeup department. Yeah, Killing the game. Jesus. Look at his skin. Oh my god. Uh, oh. Good lord. It isn't safe for you. Who's my husband? Not anymore. He's something else now. Do you understand? He's dangerous to you. He's burned. Go home. I don't want him to die alone. Stay on the other side of the plastic. I will have you removed by security. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to leave. Like, I feel like she's like, she, I don't know if it really makes a difference, but like, she should have like washed her skin after she touched him and stuff. Or she just say, hey, she's, he's, she's not burnt. It's radiation. Yeah, it will kill you. You will get I cancer. Think it, maybe, die. yeah, like maybe the nurse doesn't really know the extent of that at all. True. But. Lady, please. I, I get it. Don't. Like they don't, they don't, she doesn't understand it, what it, what it is. But, but security, get her. Oh, I'm gonna have a baby. What? Yep. She's pregnant. Oh, for the love. No. Oh my god. Uh, She's actually pregnant. Uh, yeah. Did we know that? No. Oh. I don't think. I think there might have been like a subtle hint in the first episode. But, uh, oh my yeah. god, man. The fire's out. Hey. It's the minus. Oh no. Too hot. Oh, dude's butt ass naked. 
bears. Oh, they're all butt ass naked. I mean, 122 degrees. Might keep yeah. my underwear on, but that's about right. Yeah. I've never seen so many dicks in my life. <laughs> We're still wearing the fucking hats. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> when this is over, will they be looked after? I don't know. Oh, he's being honest. And this fucking thing inspired so much bravery, you know? I know, it's crazy. So much cowardice inspired so much, like, bravery. It's crazy. Why didn't you initiate an emergency shutdown? Why didn't you press the AZ-5 button? I did. And that's when it exploded. What? So the emergency shutdown is what made it explode? Before. Did the same thing. Somebody didn't want it to be shut down. Oh my god, his hand is on the... Get out. Get out. Get out of here. Let me go. Let me go. Stop it. Good, good, good. Do you have any idea what you're dealing with? Of course I do. Please, I do. No. People are going to hear about this. Wait. People are going to hear. Do you understand? Everyone is going to hear. What is everyone going to hear? Uh oh. I'm with the official Chernobyl Commission. I've been authorized by Valery Lagasov. You can check this. My name is Ulana. We know who you are. Shit. What is everyone gonna hear? Oh fuck. Oh, I didn't even think about them. I said, be careful. Fuck. No. What are they gonna do to her? Pomilk was arrested last night. What? Boris, I'm working on it. What more do you want from me? Fix your tie. <laughs> she got arrested? Fuck. I like their little bromance. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go. There's no longer a threat of additional explosion. The Soviet people have faced the challenge and risen to the task, and they and everyone in this room are to be commended. Yes, everyone in this room did so much. There is an enormous amount of radioactive debris and contamination spread out across a zone of approximately 2,600 square kilometers. This entire region must be completely evacuated. All animals still surviving within the zone, whether domesticated or wild, must be presumed contaminated and will have to be destroyed to prevent the spread of radiation and disease. Oh. So we will have to raise entire forests. We will have to rip up the top layer of earth and bury it under itself, approximately 100 square kilometers. Um, and finally, we will need to construct a containment structure around the power plant itself. How many deaths? Thousands. Perhaps tens of thousands. Jeez, there's nothing you can do. I mean no disrespect, but I was wondering if you could tell me why. I'm sorry, I don't know who you're talking about. Fuck KGB. You really don't trust us? Of course I do. But you know the old Russian proverb? Trust but verify. Her name? I know who she is. Huh. Good day, Professor. Had to verify. <laughs> well done. Talked up the head of the KGB like that. Mm-hmm. Oh. That went surprisingly well. <laughs> yeah, it did. The problem has been assigned and you'll stop at nothing until you find an answer. Because that is who you are. Yeah, do not have a choice. At least they have good people in these positions. Mm -hmm. Not some psycho mad scientists. I came off pressed AZ-5 and then the reactor exploded. <sighs> if it had been just one of them, I would have put it down to faulty memory or delusion even, but they both agreed they were adamant. We have to pursue every possibility, no matter how unlikely, no matter what or who is to blame. I'll go back to the hospital and re-interview Akimov and Toptonov. If they're still awake. They're not. Oof. The only one left is... What's his face? The outlaw. 
That shit bag. Mm -hmm. He's not gonna tell the truth. No. He even knows the truth, I don't know. He never did any of the work himself. Actually evacuating everybody. That's crazy. Evacuate. They're recruiting. Oh. Yeah, recruit. They need all they need all the men. Yeah. He's a good actor. Who's Oh, is that uh oh Barry Barry Ke Kog Kog? I don't know how to say his last name. Yeah. Keegan? Uh, Kogan? Something like that. Yeah, I, I like I don't know like what type of Oh, is that the, the husband? radiation? Yeah, I'm assuming it's so. uh, like, like the exposure that she had. I wonder what that means for her and her child. You know. I mean, it's direct contact, and she kissed his hand. Like, I feel like that's got to be closer than the professor and Boris chilling there for you know two weeks. Yeah. Or if it's like more of that insane dose. Rather than the low constant. Either way, that baby's fucked at first, no matter what. It's just yeah. terrible. <laughs> it's like metal coffins. They can't have that. You gotta bury them. Yeah. They can't have that get into the ground, <laughs> you know? No. Damn, I didn't even think about that either. They don't need to stay and watch them for some hentai. Yeah, uh, I mean. Like, yeah, it's just tough. Suffering isn't even over, lady. Damn. Good lord, this show's cr <laughs> heavy. Oh. <laughs> Heavies, dude. Oh my god, dude. I mean, did he? Did he even last a week after the explosion? Or uh, yeah, I think so. Week? He went. The, he went in the night of. It's been yeah. nine, nine, ten days. So. Ten days. Ten wow. days. That's crazy. From perfectly healthy. My young fireman. About to be a husband. I mean, a uh, father. Didn't know it yet. But, yeah, that's... Uh, and, like, yeah, like, I get it. She probably doesn't understand what radiation is. Like, yeah. I agree uh, that with the professor. The other professor was, like... They're stupid. We were stupid. Like... They should have said she because she knew the pro what the problem was. The nurse, yeah. she should have said like, "Is, is there it this is radiation? It will kill. Yeah, it will kill you. It will kill your your child." She got lied to they about that, but yeah, I you know she should have been honest. Then she would have told her like, <laughs> "Like I get it, but you you and your baby will die." So like, yeah, but. I get, I, I get, I get why the lady still went in, but ah, it's gotta be tough. I know, it just sucks. Yeah, it just sucks. <laughs> that's that's the answer. It just sucks. There's no good answer. Like you don't want your husband to die alone. No, no, not at all. Especially like that. Uh, like, I mean, what can? Yeah, I mean, you you just couldn't. Just don't go past the barrier. At least have a. Plastic berry. I mean, yeah, I mean, like some gloves, you know, <laughs> something uh, yeah. at least. Just not skin to skin contact. No, you're literally putting his hand right onto the baby, like you know, like and these oh. nurses are doing so much, and you know, they're putting their lives at risk too. Like, mm -hmm. just nobody, yeah, play nobody fucking wins, dude. No one. I love the honesty between the miners. Um, oh, me too. In this episode, like me too. They they just give it to them straight. They they knew what needed to be done. They knew well, at yeah. least the the leader of them knew the cost. I'm sure he yeah, passed that along to the guys. But yeah, and yeah. I and I like in return like uh the, the professor said like sorry I'm on drowsy meds so keep you on it. Um, yeah, it the professor said like you know part of the lying tired of it you know about when the when the miners were coming in and i think that kind of resonated with boris because you know his whole thing has been coming to grips with that he's he's on a timer now even yeah. shorter one than he was before and uh so he was just straight up with the miner too like yeah i have no idea if you guys will be covered after this like 
Yeah. Compensated, like your families, yeah, like. It's not gonna be up to me. It's not gonna be my problem. Yeah, like I'm not gonna lie to you. I have no idea. Like, which I think the miners respected. It's like, you got no idea. Yeah. All right, I have an answer. Yeah, like, and and I, I really like. Force is like development. Yeah. When I thought sure. he was gonna be like an asshole, and now he's like, you know, last episode he's trying to inspire the, the men to do it, which they did. The water, so that that problem solved. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, what what I like about him is he's willing to accept truth, like and yeah, yeah, and reality, like yeah, very open to yeah the reality of the situation, which is you're around there, you're working there, your your time here on Earth is just shortened dramatically. So yeah, and he's very he was very real. He's like, I'm working on it. What more do you want from me? It's all I could do, or like. Mm-hmm. You know stuff like that. Yeah, I like their dynamic a yeah, lot. Great. Great. Their, their, the conversation they had when they went on their walk, like talking about like how long they have and um stuff like that. Yeah, shows they like trust each other to an extent. Like yeah, I mean they kind of just thrown into the situation, given a life contract of about five more years, maybe if they're lucky, and they're kind of just like. Look, we can do a lot of good here. Like, let's try to work together and then cracking jokes a little bit. This episode, a little bit here and there. You got a little something, a little smi- yeah. couple smiles. Yeah. Well, at least more on Boris's side than the professor who was tweaking. But yeah, and, but on that walk, they had the whole KD- KGB following them. Yeah. You know, the government wants to keep what they can. Mm-hmm. Shushy, shushy. You know, they already know. There was a Soviet, you know, nuclear reactor explosion. They don't need more dirt on their name. The KGB. Uh, yeah, I mean, and I like how they played the KGB. Like, we're just the to make sure everything, you know, everything happens the way it should. Like, yeah. Accountability, blah blah. blah. Yeah. Like, hmm. They're out to get you if you. Go against them. So. Exactly. And then you, you, you never get to that arrested. other. You never get to that other side of the circle where it comes to them. <laughs> by then, yeah. by then you're gone. Yeah. So, really, a yeah. circle of accountability. But what's her name? Is it Kumu? I I don't know how to pronounce no her name. But uh, she gets she gets arrested while looking into. Yeah, that's what it. went down in the room. That was a nice little like twist. I was like, "Oh shit!" I for- I thought I was just like a citizen, and I was like, "Oh, the word's gonna get out." I totally yeah. forgot. I'm like, she's definitely gonna get followed. And mm-hmm. he was like, "Be careful and stuff." I but... know she should not have said that. I mean, she should have. Those words, but yeah, but like, she, yeah, not like yeah, like. I mean, everyone's think... gonna hear about this. Yeah, no, like who's gonna hear about this? <laughs> I know. Keep that. Keep that to yourself. Yeah. Um. But Which she is terrible. Found, she found out at least some of what yes. happened in the room. So those couple of uh, engineers were like, we hit the shutdown, and then it exploded. Mm-hmm. Both of them corroborated the story. So Yeah, so the button that was supposed to shut down <clears throat> the reactor was the, was the detonator. Mm-hmm. Which is... Screams foul play to me. Yeah, and my, nobody... yeah, my thing is why, who yeah, and why. Knows, yeah, exactly. Nobody knows like why it happened. When I mean, the only two that will be able to find the answers are them. Like, yeah, because those two are dead now. So she's the only one with the yeah that confession or that. Story. I know. I don't know who else would still be alive. The other guy that went down there, I think, died. Yeah. Because of the like he when he was like bleeding downstairs, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so just them two. two. The Dyatlov. Dyatlov seems he didn't look as bad as them, so I'm gonna yeah. assume he might still be kicking. And then maybe there was one more, but I'm, I'm not. I don't sure. think so. But, At least. Yeah, but yeah, she got them, and they're they're gone. So. 
That was lucky. Lucky. Yeah. Sure. We'll see. And yeah, just the whole like just the stakes are so high and like even now after the goddamn explosion, like every little thing like touch this, don't touch that, like you want to say the whole husband and wife thing, and there was a lot of humor in this one. Not a lot, but there was humor in this one. Like them all with all their clothes off. <laughs> They're like, yeah, but wearing yeah. the still wearing the hats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah like it's funny. Yeah, in the end, it doesn't really matter. Like, what's a in little bit of clothing going to do? I guess doesn't really. Yeah. Uh, and Try so hard, you know. You got so far. But in the end. Doesn't even matter, which was going to be my next point. Good transition. Yeah. Um, their whole like you know three year plan, seven hundred fifty thousand men like got to re dig up the earth, evacuate the region, yeah. kill all the animals. Like that's terrible. First off, second know. like yeah, it's just like I wonder how much of that that. They went through. Like, I, I know. Are doing. they buying in on that? Like, they didn't seem to be like, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, let's I mean, clean up. Let's clean up this mess. I mean, that's a lot. Let's of, solve these radiation problems. A lot of work and money that they probably didn't want. To, not that they're gonna do any of it themselves, but yeah, they, they yeah didn't seem too enthused. Yeah, about the. I, uh, I'm curious. Like, IRL. I know there's still three episodes or two episodes left, so we'll find out. But. How much of that reconstruction that actually went down mm -hmm. this wall around Chernobyl that they were talking about. But that, that that's the thing, like and what I was gonna say, like in the end it doesn't matter. Like he's like, Yeah, there's still gonna be like probably tens of thousands of deaths easily. Even yeah. though the problem's quote unquote solved, miners are working hard. Looking good. They're making good progress. No more explosion, killing everything, kind of thing. Like, yeah. But ten thousand people are gonna die. There's literally nothing we can do about it. And then how many after, like, because of the cancer and disease and things like that, that yeah, the after stem from it. Or... <laughs> yeah, but nobody knows. Like, it's yeah, crazy, key... crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. But. Yeah, only two more, which is crazy. Like, but these episodes are so like, like intense and thick, yeah. and dense. Like, yeah, jam packed. With stuff. Feels like it's longer than it than it is in a good way. Um, yeah, and I feel like they do a really good job making you like feel the scenario that every character is in. Like, yeah, I feel like yeah, intense. Like, feel bad for the. Prof I feel bad for everyone there. Like, they know. They know they're not, they're cutting their life, the rest yeah, of their life in like half. It always gets me when they're right there <laughs> by the plant. And they're, you just know, like, you just, just sitting in that room and talking is, you're just absorbing radiation. I'm like, all those people are brave. Oh. Yeah. And like, the fact that they're there and like, a lot of them maybe don't know the full extent, but even those that do, they're there. That's bravery. Nurses and everybody. Like, it's, it's just wild that, like, the, the, the arrogance and the, like, you know, incompetence that led to the situation, disp like, despite if it was sabotage or not, we don't know, um, in the story, but, like, even by the officials, like, taking their time to, to, to kind of close the situation down, like, yeah, that inspires so much, like, we're doing this for everybody, like you know what I mean? Which is you know it's great it's sad to see, it's like tragic, obviously, but if based on truth, those people existed, which is shout out to them. Yeah, that's all I got. Another doozy. And but I can't believe this actually happened. But <laughs> um Mental. Yeah, well we're halfway.